he's so low. Nice. Okay. Can I ace? <gasps> oh, what an ace! <laughs> What the fuck? Oh! Ah! <laughs> 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 In the building, in the building, Jake, building, building! He's fine, he's fine, he's down. He's dead. Huh? Contact! Fuck! So for the longest time, I've had a lot of people tell me, when am I going to make a cooking video? Durag, you going to make a cooking video? Why aren't you making a cooking video? I honestly couldn't understand why people wanted me to make a cooking video. I'm not even a channel that makes cooking videos, but there was just like so many requests for me to do a cooking video. So I said, okay, fine. If you want me to really do a cooking video, then you got to get me to 10k subscribers. The reason why I said that was because I honestly didn't think that I'd get there. Like the YouTube algorithm has like so shot on my channel that I thought I'd never reach it, you know? Like again, I've been on YouTube for like 10 years and in that time it kind of just felt impossible you know like i'm making a lot of these videos but the channel doesn't appear to be taken off so i guess i have all of you that are watching this video to thank for that you guys held up your end of the bargain and i guess i gotta hold up mine now there was no rules as to what i was supposed to cook so i'm just gonna do something simple that i like to make every now and then when i get hungry so for today's dish what we're gonna be making is stroganoff from your boy hamburger helper usually it's too expensive and i like to go to like the 99 cent store just to get a box of a generic brand but i could not find a generic version so i just said okay screw it let's just go get the real deal so we're gonna be using two of them because we have about a pound of meat the box itself calls for ground beef but we're going to supplement that with ground turkey the reason why is because it's actually a much healthier option than to using ground beef and your boy could stand to lose a little weight on me but yeah we also need three fourths for a cup of hot water and also two and a quarter cups of milk keep in mind that we're going to be doubling this because we're using two boxes so yeah it seems as if i've got all the ingredients that i need so let's get cooking So in order for us to actually start cooking, we need a pan. And not just any pan, a pan that can actually hold about a pound of meat and double the amount of the ingredients. So we got this big thing. This should do the job. We're gonna add in a dip of vegetable oil so that the meat doesn't stick to the pan and spread that bad boy all around. We let it sit for a little bit so that it has a bit of a sizzle. And then we toss in the meat.
Now there's a lot of things that you could do with ground beef or turkey beef. You can make a hamburger, tacos, sliders, but as I've said multiple times, we're going to be doing stroganoff. And in order for us to actually start with the stroganoff, we have to make sure that the meat is fully cooked. Obviously what I'm doing here is moving the meat around to make sure that everything is mostly turned that gray color. For those of you that don't know, meat generally starts off as like a pinkish reddish color. And then when you cook it, it turns into like a dark gray color when it's actually cooked. There are some people that like to leave a little red in there, but I think that's only for like steak and tri-tip and meat like that the only meat that i've ever seen that was ever like the opposite was probably shrimp shrimp like starts out as like a gray color and once you cook it it turns pink it's really weird how that works but anyways the meat seems to be cooking pretty well here and it actually does look pretty good i've had this uh meat for about a week or two i was thinking as the channel actually hit 10k well this meat's gonna go bad any day now so i might as well cook it now while i have the chance now this next part is completely optional, you don't have to do this, but if you're someone that is trying to lose weight and you don't want your dish to be as greasy, another thing that you can do is take out the grease that comes out of the turkey or ground beef. Again, this is optional, you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want to. So the first ingredient that we're going to be adding to the pot here is water. It says that the water needs to be a little hot here, so I decided to boil it just a little bit. And the cool thing about water is that if you didn't fully cook the meat, looking back to this video, it kind of looks like I didn't cook it fully. The water will for sure boil it all the way. Moving on to the next main ingredient, we got milk. Good old leche. Bread from the nearest cow near you. So the back of the box basically tells us to put two and a quarter cups of milk, but I'm going to double that because there's just a lot of meat in here, so yeah. Alright, now we need to get the packet that comes with the box and dump in all of the noodles that come along with the box too. Doesn't matter the order at this point. Am I making cereal chat or am I making stroganoff? You decide.
And that pretty much does it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually record myself eating though, because I didn't have enough time. And by the time that I actually had time, everybody already ate the goddamn dish. So I'm just like, gosh, dang it. Oh well. I did have fun making the video though, I'll tell you that. Thank you, Kuro and Mr. Bombastic, for the cool intro video. You guys are awesome. Um, so a couple of things that I want to talk about really quick, now that I have your attention and you made it this far. I am going to be turning on the join button. So if any of you guys want to actually support the channel more, uh, you can definitely become a member. I'm probably gonna put it at maybe two. 2.99 or 1.99 haven't exactly decided yet I'm still trying to work things out with that i'm gonna be adding emotes to the channel here's a couple of previews up on the screen and uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the cooking video that i've had here um i hope it was helpful and i hope you guys really liked it and yeah that's pretty much all i really got to say uh more videos to come out soon hopefully i could drop them more frequently than i, than I have been lately i've just been you know working on the house again because we were kind of stalled but things are starting to pick up a little more again so hopefully we'll have it finished by the end of the year and i can really start cracking on the vids again so yeah 10k video down hopefully i never have to do something like that again so i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye